Welcome back, my good, good people. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, man. So, I am out this morning. You know, spearfishing again. As you don't know, say, I'm mainly that are the thing for this channel. Yeah, man. And I might think that from a little bit of a little bit of you, little boy. Yeah, man. Spearfishing, you know. Do all type of fishing, do line fishing. The net same way we are even going at the fish pot, but we uh, do not know. But we do everything still. But in the future, soon, soon, we're gonna start back some line and yeah, mainly line, yeah, fishing and spear fishing. And I think we are going at the net and the fish pot, but we are going at some line, some deep sea line fishing and charling and everything, you know. Yeah, so hopefully. We know it's a passive, passive still. It's a lot, but I lost the time, you know? Yeah, man. But this morning, I'm alone. It's a solo dive this morning. Yeah, man. I reach out to the guys, and um, one of them busy. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if I'm going to see somewhere else, but from the sound, it looks like I'm going somewhere else to see. You know? Maybe I'm going to try one new spot. Like with Chinese, but, but me you know me decides all right. Two me so busy in a the in a the week them yeah. The least it could break me get me go try. And me know say me go yesterday. Me catch three fish, three three fish me catch. Yeah man, make you guys see that video. You guys supposed to see that video see me you know. Although me already it up yet, but being you watching this now me know that one post before. So you guys supposed to see that video. Three fish only cannot get a good catch. I never get, get nothing much. But today, me alone solo dive, as I say. Not my choice still. Never have a choice this morning. You know? Me alone up. So I go and look at the edge. See me on the same area, but I go up on the next side of the, the bay, up on the edge. Go swim around in the little in front of the edge the, 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 the edge. And so I can find this man. If I don't catch nothing, so yeah man, if I catch me give thanks. Now nah, I go force a diving. About two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah man, and the sea is about the same like yesterday. And she say nah, about an hour from now it's gonna get choppy and the visibility is about the same. So come with us my people, we're gonna see what we are now, alright? On this first dive, I saw a school of grunt. They were hanging out right at the edge here. When I made the dive, it seems like they realized that I was getting closer, so they move in the rocks. So right here, I saw a lovely red belly, so I sneak over, you can see it there. It started to swim away, I took the shot, but only a graze. I saw a snapper here, so I made the dive and sneak down. I lined up the fish, took the shot, but I missed. So this is a jack, just spear this one. I saw a yellow tail snapper, same strategy, stick over the rock and I got a decent shot on this one.
While I was stringing up the snapper, this nice jack swim pass. What I realized with my spear gun, the rubbers are getting weird, so the gun is very slow. I took a few shots further on in this video, where you guys is going to see how slow it is. And the water here, it was very sandy, but I could see it was spearfish. I was chasing a gold tail, but when I got down I saw this grunt, but it was moving too fast though, I couldn't get a shot. This was a gold tail, I speared it, but it tore off the line. can see this area is a beautiful area whenever the water is clean here it's a nice diving site I made this jack and this snapper, but I saw these two jack heading towards me and I switched my attention to them. But they turn on me and head in the shallow. This was my third fish, a red belly. This small school of butter jack swam upon me. I was trying to get one, but as I said earlier on, the spear gun is too slow. So by the time I squeeze the trigger, the jack shift out the way. I use both rubber band at the two last each each time, and the spear still went nowhere. Those were two bar jack, and this gun have no range as well, so those two jack were out of the question so this is an example with this gold tail you can see the spear hit it but it didn't penetrate it just pushed the fish away but being that i couldn't get the spear gun fixed under the water so i have to continue with it i tried to get close as possible to each fish i got a chance with so that way the spear could penetrate Some good sized grunts live here. I saw quite a few of them from the surface. Here is one behind the rock but no clear shot from it.
that was a gold tail. I was lay waiting it, but it didn't come out back. Those are some grunts. I made a random dive. When I got to about 40 feet, I saw these two yellow tail snapper. One saw me and swim off. The next one stayed. So it's going on my string. I saw next yellow tail snapper, I dive and sneak over on it. But this is the result of a slow gun. The spear left a mark on it, it was clearly visible. When I surface from this dive, I just call it a day and head on the rock side to clean up my fish. Yes, the people, so, you know, come out of the water, the greatest thing they have up on the rock side, you know. And it was an epic, epic, epic dive, you know. Epic dive. The whole heap of thing going out, you know, capture everything. Because you see, the only, only the GoPro I have down here, so I mean, never did want to kill the GoPro back here. So, I do less record, you know. But, I tell you, the place is nice, holy for fish. There are some permit trap guard. Some 30, 40 pound one, I say. No, say, but I don't get no chance with me. Then see me then hook up. Man, but. Dive and dive and me get a good cat see me, although me lose a lot still. Lose more when me when me spear, but that's where I go. But see what I have here with me. Yeah, man. So I have um, two jack here. Two little jack. And I have a nice yellow tail snapper here. Two of them. Two yellow tail. It's been a while since we two push the spear two yellow tail and one dive. Yeah man. And then the fish are not really get chance, you know my people. But you see through the edge out there, we can get the lay down on the edge. And them did enough so when we lay down them swim, I we can sneak over upon them, you know? So that's the advantage with the edge. We get two nice ones and a red belly underneath here, so yeah. Red belly, yeah. nice size red belly too. Mm -hmm. Now when I come in back, I shoot that squid I yeah. shot that squid yeah. I mean, I'll curry him one day. I'm mean, gonna probably give somebody where I want to use them for bait. Because enough time a fisherman is going line fishing at the school. So I can give somebody that want to use them for bait. Or I cook him. If you don't know, get a good catcher. Nice little catch, better than the, the yesterday because I said I go yesterday and nothing never worked out. So, better than yesterday. Yeah, man. Nice, nice, you know? So, never get them clean up, you know?
are finished, you know, scale and gut. That's the Jamaican way of cleaning fish, scale and gut. So, I look on piece of string, you know, the string them up on because on the rock side here, so a lot of guys fishing here, so, so a lot of string must on the rock side. So, I have a search a piece, you know. Uh, but this is a piece of fish string but look short. Get the same one. Only for a piece, piece, but I uh, have no length. This is a longer piece, yeah. This will do it chicken and not a fish line as well. Fish line can work, yeah. Guys, we have sound system videos we go produce. In a week, you see me. I mean, have a lot of edit, a lot of edit to finish up. Yeah, but in the morning, let me try still. You know, me can try Friday morning. Although we go, we are one place of Portland named Wind, Windsor Castle of Portland. No, we are going Manchester Friday. Yeah, man, Manchester Friday, a Sunday, a Windsor Castle of Portland. So then I can try an early morning dive, maybe I come back here so and see what I go on. Get them fish a string up here now. Yes guys, this feel like about 3 pounds without the squid. You know? The squid that carry up to about 3 and a half foot. I have the scale up of the car so I go weigh them. Two nice yellow tail there, man. Snapper. Them even the string, the edge, you know. Yeah, man. So, I go up a hill here, you know. You know we have a hill of a climb. I'll get them away. I want to know how much they still. Fix with people, so. And we fish them and go up on a post or something. Give them the way, you know. You know? And on this here, make sure it's zero. Okay, make sure I use more than that. That's you guys can see. Two and a half, look a bit over two and a half. You know, eat a cheap bone, I mean, say. It's a nice catch, you know? Nice catch. Good catch is my people. Boy, you know, I'm now. I'm definitely a pop up about the go and the end of this video. Yeah, man, I always make that up, you know? So, stay tuned to the channel. Fish is in more detail. Uh, two lovely snapper. Yeah? And as we mentioned earlier, and when you catch two yellow tail snapper in a one dive, a good catch. Good catch, huh? Yeah, man. Not by hook and line do a fish pot in them, they don't count. You have to shoot them. Yeah. Yeah, foreign snap, foreign yellow tail snapper, they don't them tame, you know. I mean, I watch some old fishing video and I see the man them and dive and the snapper them come right upon them. You know, they may want out there. Nothing for a Jamaican around joke. I mean, I give you no chance to have a skill like me. Dive down and sneak up on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, you know, probably cook one of the snapper and the red belly or something else. But definitely, I'm going to do a cook up, you know. So, I have one of the snappers I say on the red belly right here. I'm going to do a little steam, a little regular steam. I'm going to have to do a special cook tonight, but I don't have the time. Yeah, man. So, we just do a regular steam on them two fish. Yeah? You know? So, I'm ready up the pot you now because it's well seasoned. You know, so on this side, we have some, so some banana and dumpling. One cook, you know. So we have something here we're gonna put in on a fish. We have some corn and the rest are seasoned then. Eh? So we're gonna add some butter in the frying pan, you know. Mm -hmm. Small cook up here. 
Yeah, I every day cooking this. Dropping it, they, they, they. It's not going to look like crack or cut them in a two, you know, because I'm too big. So we cut this snap in a two. Red belly up on the side, you know? Yes, sir, looking good in the pot. I'm gonna fry it up, fry it in there, you know? I'm gonna taste this, like, you know? The pot look. Sardine leaves now, you can't do that. We have um, okra beer, so onion, chili and thyme. Okay. Some coconut milk. Mix in some water. Mm. And so, I'm gonna leave this make it go on steam, you know? Yes, my people, this take time to come, you know? Mm. Yes, my people, so this finish up here now. Yeah, man. People, so I eat this, you know. These are the fish here, two finger banana. Two dumplings, see me and then eat. Yeah, man. So, we'll see what goes on for this in the night, you know. So, once more, thanks for watching. As always, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright?